Hey there guys, my name is Pedro Dominguez of Pedro's Pods. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to apply for a PPQ 526. This is an unofficial update video to Wally Kern of Supreme Geckos. Um, I highly recommend that you check out his video before you watch this. This is actually quite a lot more thorough and it's going to give you a lot more in-depth and calm um, information on this. Uh, with that said, this is going to be very quick, brief, and so uh, we can just jump right into it. Starting off, you're going to want to be at the AFIS uh, eFile website, which is eFile.afis.usda.gov. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as Wally's um, video on this. Make sure to create an account at the sign in slash sign up um, section up at the top right hand corner. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and log in, which I'll be doing here. And then once you've logged in, you'll be started off at their homepage. Make sure you locate the drop down um, menu right underneath ready to apply and look for PPQ 526. Click on get started. And so the first form to pop up is going to be an informational, uh, basically just some background on the permit. So make sure you read through all of that and then click on the drop downs as well and read through those. Uh, move on and then get to the CBI form, which is going to uh, B for people who need to put financial documents. We're not going to do that. So click on no and then click the checkbox to certify that you have read this information. Then you can proceed to the next portion. For intended use, click on commercial biological supply for resale breeding slash no breeding. And then for movement type, click on interstate for movement between states. For the first responsible party section, this is basically just a contact form, so you're going to want to make sure to fill all of this out with all of the relevant contact uh, details that will apply to you once you fill that out. There's also a slight uh, section where you can click yes for if you belong to a company or organization and then just fill in that company name. Uh, I've done so. And so moving on from there there will be a section on the right hand side that will ask are you the permittee make sure you click on yes and then uh, save and next for articles you're going to click not applicable for the equipment access and then for the pest type uh, here we're doing approved isopoda and I'm also going to add on arthropods because I'm going to be filing for springtails as well. For the limits, uh, this is only if you're doing um, like more than 2000 at a time uh, and you're probably not going to be doing that. So we can disregard that and move on to the add articles button here. You're just going to need to manually type in the species name and then select them from the drop down menu to add them. Uh, if you cannot find them in that drop down, there is a button that uh, says I can't find my article right underneath the actual box. So just speeding through here and you'll see that at the very end of it, there is also some questions on the details. This is going to be in regards to shipping information, which we're going to fill in in just a moment. And once we're done with that, the first question is going to be um, where they were collected originally. You'll fill that in with contiguous US. For the life stages, click all and any. For whether they were established in the US, click yes. For the major host, N-A for not applicable. For additional accompanying material, we click on non-propagative uh, non plant material. And then for the explanation, you're going to click or rather type in harvested dried sphagnum moss. For the mode of transport, you click air freight, air mail, express, delivery, and land freight. And then next, you'll want to scroll all the way down to the add shipment details. 
Here you're going to type in some shipping information. For the first question, click on all articles to save this information to all of the species. Then click on yes for whether you have the shipping origin details. This is going to be your shipping information. So where, where you will be uh, shipping out from. Make sure to just fill that in. Next question would be whether the mailing um, address is the same as the shipping and you click yes and then for the contact details you want to click yes to uh, that and also fill that in with your uh, personal contact information. For shipping details make sure you click on no and this is where they would previously have asked you um, on the number of shipments uh, which you can fill in if you have that information though we don't so we can just go ahead and skip that now by clicking no and then you'll scroll up after you filled that stuff in and click on every circle next to the species name to save the shipping information you just typed in to every species profile once you've done that you can just scroll all the way down and then click save and next here you will need to manually type in the shipping uh, details in regards to every single state that you intend to ship to. Uh, mine is full, but on yours it'll be blank. And so you just click on the create new destination button. Once you've done that for the destination name, you'll manually type in the actual state name that you intend to ship to. And we're going to be doing one at a time. So here in this case, it's going to be Alabama. For the type, click on not applicable and for the address line and contact information. Here I just manually type in n-a for not applicable and then I copy paste this into every section. Make sure you click the corresponding state name um, from the drop down. And then same thing for the contact uh, details here. Fill that all out with n-a except for the email here you will need to basically format that as an email so I just type in unknown at info.com and then you, you can just save that and so you will need to do this for every state one by one uh, huge heads up here is with the exception of five states you can have all of those states on one application so i recommend your first um, submission should have all of those 45 states for the remaining five states which will be alabama montana florida oregon and louisiana you will need to clone this application and then remove all other states so that you submit to each state with just that state name listed as a destination. So again, with the exception of those five states, you can have all of your states filed in the same permit application submission. So just make sure you file for them separately and I'll also have those state names uh, put in the description down below. So you can check that out for the document details. Here, uh, probably not gonna be something you need to submit. Um, I sure didn't and I I would assume that this is more so for people who have some supporting background who do like lab work and stuff so we can skip that and then for the review and submit you just want to make sure that all of what you typed in is correct. This process can take quite some time so even a small typo can absolutely set you back. Once you've reviewed all, um, all of that, you can check the uh, certification box that you do believe all of it is true to the best of your knowledge. Then click Submit Application once you've reviewed all of that information. And congrats, you're all done. Uh, here you really just want to make sure to periodically check on your email and the My Activity tab from the um, efile.aphis website. There you'll be able to get some real-time status updates on your permits. So make sure to, 
to uh, check your email more than anything though. Uh, you will be having some emails sent out to you by the head entomologist who is Dr. Carlos Ablanco um, from APHIS. Make sure you get in contact with him as soon as you possibly can. He can also give you quite a lot more um, information on this process. And if you have any other questions and would like a, a more not so super sped up walkthrough, feel free to uh, reach out to me at any point in time. I would be more than happy to help. You can uh, find me at Instagram at Pedro's Pods. Uh, with that said, um, huge shout out to Nick Bloomer of Bloomer Bioactive, Wally Kern of Supreme Gecko, and Russ Wilson of Aquarimax Pets. Thank you guys so much for sharing um, information for the hobbyists and the community. It is greatly valued. And uh, with that said, hope you guys have a great day and catch you on the next one.